guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will um, be testing out two 3D pens to see which one is better for advanced or beginners. I have Scrib 3D, as you see, and Mint 3D. Both of them are um, recommended 3D pens, I do, if I do say so myself. Um, and I, I do recommend getting these, but I'm seeing which one's better. And to do it, I am going to be doing my Gorilla Tag character. Crixer's Gorilla Tag character, and we're going to be doing it with these three filaments here. So first, let's start with Scrib 3D. I have used this in a little bit um, during Christmas, so I'm not, like, the best, but I'm definitely not starting. So we're unpacking it here, and we have the pen and the cord. There's the pen. It's a little chunky. It's I like the color. It's nice and blue has some stuff on it from the last time I tried it and in here is a couple manuals and this here looks like um oh some molds but we won't be using those we'll just be using our memory and uh, here is a little bit of a flyer with uh, contact information and oh those are filaments but we won't be using those today so uh, let's go ahead and plug in this baby and let's see how it works Sorry, I had to rearrange the camera, but yeah. Okay, so let's go. Let's start with the, th the um, Scrib 3D pen. I'm gonna sit down real quick in, in, in my Super Mario 3 p pajamas. <laughs> and let's start with the base filament. Um, this is a you gonna I'm gonna be using that for the body since my gorilla tag color code is orange, and uh, I'm just getting this unraveled and um yeah all right let's get the pen and let's plug it in oh and look at that it is starting to heat up awesome so um I'm so. Uh, sorry for the long waits. It's just I am getting it ready and setting it up. Um, it's heating up right now. It should be ready soon, and I think it is ready. So yep, and I'm putting in the film in here. Uh, this is a voiceover because my audio didn't go through, but it's all right. Um, so I'm putting it in and start with the base filament. Now I'm just gonna start saying the information here that I thought. So. As I start here, um, I did want to say that as I start, um, it, it's very good. It's very smooth. It's a little bit. It does curl a little, but I think that's just a normal thing that happens. And it feels it filled in really good. I didn't have time to fill it in too much because I wanted to save some of the filaments for the other one. But it did really good. It didn't really stick to the tip at all. And as I, as you see, it's a little transparent because I didn't fill it in too much. Uh, I know the colors are a little inverse. It's not black. It's white. The body and the mouth and the nose. But that's okay. Um, kind of mess it up. But um, here I am taking out the white, and um, that's a pretty. That was a pretty good result for my first one of my first ones. And um, yeah, so let's see. Uh, let's put that back. And here is Mint 3D. They also have a manual here and a little joke saying, uh, "The coffee maker. What are we gonna make today? I don't know. We can literally make anything. <laughs> nice one, because you can literally make anything. But uh, yeah, we have a black cord in there, and um, <clears throat> we have a cord in there, and look at that pen, nice and thin, and I like the colors. Plug it in, and ooh, it has such a, look at that, it's got a nice uh, little screen there. <laughs> it's got a nice little screen, so, uh, yeah, um, let's see how this goes. We'll get, I'm getting ready, it's heating up right now. I definitely think this, I'm going to just start to say, I definitely think this one has a better grip than the other one. But, um... Yeah, let's uh, start inserting the filament. The uh, Squib 3D, you have to hold down the button and to let it slowly insert. This one, you can just insert it and then hold down the button. And it, I don't think it takes as long. But my speed, um, the speed for it getting in was really low. So that's why it took a while for it, the stuff to come out. But I ended up fixing it and it came out faster. But uh, yeah, let's put this aside and um, let's see how this turns out. So I will say um, that when I started this one, it, it was a little tricky because it kept sticking to the tip. And um, and that's okay. It was just that um, it's a little hard to do it when it's 
when it like kind of gets caught in itself. But um, yeah, overall it was really good. I do think it, it does look a little wonky because it got caught in itself, but I didn't use too much. And this time the colors aren't inverted. So um, yeah, as you can see, I'm filling it in. Um, so far, it looks pretty good. I'm filling the, I'm finishing the eyes right now, and uh, let's hope that let's hope that this looks good. Um, well, you know, I know it looks good, but yeah, it, it looks pretty good. Um, of course, I could do better in filling it in and stuff. I just didn't want to waste a lot of filament right now just on this. But yeah, you have to uh, extract it all, and I definitely think this is really good. This is my dad talking. Script 3D Gorilla, um, that came out really good, the result is great, it didn't, it doesn't stick to the pen too much, and I, I really like it, it does get a little bit stringy when you stop it, but yeah, I think it looks really good, and I'm really proud of that one, um, the only thing I wish I could have done is fill it in a little better, but that's alright, and, uh, this is the last one, this is just the Mint 3D, and it, it did pretty good, it had a lot of stickies, and as you can see his, his hand's a little crooked, but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and like and subscribe if you want, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!